I am just going to record this before that we jump into this very big reading because a lot of things happened. There's a grandmother that came through, there was healing happening, there is um, a lot of answers in the cards and I actually realized that this is not a daily reading. This is a urgent message that needed to come out. So get ready, <laughs> get something to eat, snacks, <laughs> something to drink and yeah, let's just let past Sandra speak. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing on this lovely morning? <laughs> this is being recorded on uh, Wednesday. Okay, today has been a little bit of a crazy busy day, so I'm just trying to... I actually I wanted to have coffee, but I don't want to go all the way up there to take coffee. <laughs> I think... We are still in the energies. <laughs> it is a heavy time and I also I have could feel that <laughs> I could feel that on my customers, on friends that I've been uh, talking to, on myself. And energy today also carried this message of you know letting go of conflict or letting go of the the swords <laughs> here we go again <laughs> that keeps us trapped the emotions that keeps us trapped because there's definitely something magical waiting but some of you guys might be a little bit in your mind still about something and you know what <laughs> i just heard it's because you know that something is changing so there is fear and excitement um, mixed in with it Mm -hmm. I can hear a plane. It's so strange uh, because that it's very sunny today, but it's also very windy, which I guess it makes sense. And when I was out for um, coffee with a customer after the shoot, There was like this lovely lady who had like this hat on, like a very summer hat. I was like very inspired by it. But it flew off her, right? <laughs> and it was just like a movie because she actually kept, yeah, she grabbed it. I was like, wow. <laughs> so, you know, thinking back on that, I also feel that's very saying for the moment. Or maybe a situation yet yeah, that you find yourself in. Where it's like, even if you feel like you lose something, you, you know, you get it back. You grab it. You grab the momentum. There's something you have to let go of, even if it's very hard for you to let go of it. And there's a lot of rewards waiting for you. You might feel angry and annoyed at people around you. <laughs> I know this from experience. <laughs> I have... I have not been the best person to be around today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I can feel like I'm way quicker to like snap out of a uh, snap out, snap at people today. But it is the energy again. It's the effing Scorpio in me <laughs> because Scorpio do Scorpio doesn't want to change. It doesn't want to. No, it doesn't want to, but it ha it has to, it has to. <laughs> so if you have Scorpio in charge, you know how I feel. Because we are being guided to move. Uh, a lot of you guys actually do have Scorpio in your Pluto, especially if, well, what is the generation? My generation. <laughs> Let me know if you have Pluto and Scorpio, because that's, you know. I can feel like um, I'm rambling again. <laughs> I don't know you guys like that. But it's just the energy, okay? I need to get this out. <laughs> I need to talk about it. But the message that came through when I tried to meditate on this was, first of all, I did get a very clear message to just relax. Take a break. And then I heard that things are not as it seems, right? Our mind is very quick and very good at 
making things seem as they are not. So it makes us confused. So, like yesterday, we got to dig a little deeper. Like, why is it that there is a fear? What? Hmm? Throat chakra. What is it that you're afraid of saying, talking about? Um, especially, again, with the face, right? No matter if there has been something with the face or with the, the, the eyes, the nose, the ears, um, headaches, um, the neck. There is something that needs to be said, released, communicated, probably, in a combination with those three. Maybe you know or feel that someone wants to communicate or talk about something, and that's why there is a tension. Um, so you might have a very intuitive bond with someone. It can be a son, daughter, a sibling. That could be something with family here, but it could also be with a friend or something else. Maybe you have a friend where you're like, I know something is going on, and I know that you're not telling me what is actually going on. So I feel that someone, because it could be someone who wants to open up to you, but it could also be you who wants to open up to someone. So there is something that's being prepared, but at the same time, there is something happening right now where there is this energy of not taking action. I'm not doing it. I'm not like it's not the right time. And I wonder if it is because of Mercury retrograde, because it could be that someone would misunderstand you. So yeah, because of their own emotions, right? Uh, they might they might just yeah like take it the wrong way or something like that. So I feel that the message today is to maybe just relax with it instead of stressing about it. Don't try to make something perfect or form the right words because, again, Mercury retrograde is going to mess that up. Anyway, wait. <laughs> Should we take these to actually see? For, for anyone out there, if you have something you need to speak with someone about, <laughs> or if um, you might wait for someone to speak with you about something, Right. Well, we did get weight and trust, right? But what is it? I will tap into it. And I'm also going to take tarot, but again, I like this energy of actually just flowing within. Trust. Trust. Don't stop. Whatever this is, don't, don't stop. So if there is a conversation or something that needs to be held, interesting. Um, It's up to you. When can we expect it? Peaceful resolution. That's not what I wanted to <laughs> Let it go. I don't know why there is this energy because I know a lot of you guys also have this like, I want to have an I want to have energy. I want to have answers or I want to move forward. But there is something happening right now where it's like, not yet, not yet. I wonder if some of you guys are choosing a more spiritual path, if that's why you're being guided. To also trust the path, but choosing a more spiritual path. Did something come up where you got triggered about something? You might even have something when it comes to sleep, when it comes to recovering your body, when it comes to injuries or something. Just sit still as you are, I heard. That's the worst thing you can say to us humans, especially air sign. <laughs> I do feel there's happy times coming, but I also feel like it's it's slow. It's slow. And there is a reason for it. But it's frustrating. I get that. I understand you. Yeah, it is very frustrating. It's interesting because I had uh, this energy of like Mercury and Cancer. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with uh, a Cancer or you're dealing with, well, the Mercury energy, but it could also be connected with. Um, Scorpio, right? Again, Scorpio for more. There is something here where it's like, it's not on you, it's not your fault, it's not that nothing is going to happen, but for some reason, for all of us, no matter if it's love, if it's career, if it's whatever, there is a pause right now. And I do want to dig a little bit deeper to find out why it's here, because it is here. It could be as simple as... And I did feel like someone was like nodding 
that is because that we need to feel our emotions. And I actually spoke once again with Alison today. <laughs> and she said to me that she was so proud of me for like the way that what I talked about um, in yesterday's reading, right? And it also made me realize that maybe that is actually what we are doing right now. We are taking memories from the past and us in the physical sense of how we look now, we go back to the person that we were back then, no matter if this person was 20 years old, no matter if it's nine months ago or five years ago, we hug this person and we're like, I know you're going through something tough, but you got this, you know? Because then you heal something from the past that might be a block for your future. That is scary, because what are we opening up for then, right? That actually does make me realize something. <laughs> so I had a, a very deep conversation with a customer I haven't met before. It was <laughs> She was very lovely. And she talked about this, you know, <laughs> the thing that always comes up <laughs> with uh, me being 37 and I don't have any kids. And I, it's, I always get a little bit excited because I can be like, well, it's because I can't have kids. So people are always like, oh, you know, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's okay. But we talked about this because he was very interested in hearing about how to heal the body with the mental thing. And it just made me realize that maybe there's something being healed when it comes to that. Because remember what the psychic lady said, that there will be a sun in the future. And I'm like, hmm. Maybe something else. And it made me think like, oh God, if that would happen, that would freak the heck. I, I would, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, <laughs> I was just about to say, I feel so sorry for you women out there <laughs> dealing with menstruation circles because thank God <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> I haven't had it since I was, uh, I don't know, 13, 14 years old. But maybe there's something I need to heal there. Doesn't mean that I, no. <laughs> but that is how we heal. If there's something where you're like, okay, there is a fertility problem in, a, in my life, or there's a love problem in a, my life, or something else. Try to go back to the time where you're like, okay, maybe it happened back then. Maybe there is something in your past that you have closed off, or it can be a little thing, it can be that your parents got divorced, it can be... I don't know, maybe you got... Um, what do you call that? Bullied in school, because that's also something I have experienced. There's been a lot of experiences. Oh, there has been a lot of things today where I'm like, huh. Because I also spoke with my brother who reminisced, is that the word? Talked about like, he was dating someone at a time and he was afraid of dating this person. I was like, that's interesting that you're talking about that now because you're a married man. <laughs> but it was probably something he healed, right? With something about trusting himself or something. No, yeah. but, okay, it's a long reading again. Six of Wands and Ace of Pentacles, that is definitely victory coming in. Something very lovely. A compromise. This energy of like, we're going to figure this one out. We're going to work together on this. Yeah, I wonder how many of you guys really are working with healing the inner child. Right? Damn. Who you are now is not who you are becoming. So there is a lot of assets that you're letting go of that is connected to past things, or maybe things that is in your life. Maybe some of you guys are moving to another country. Yeah. 
There's definitely something. I really want you to dig deep. Like, what? <laughs> Alter ego. <laughs> what part of yourself? Like, the first thing that pops up in your mind. How old are you? Are you 13? Are you 18? Was it not long ago, maybe? Or maybe, you know, long ago. Is it in a past life? Because obviously that could be. But what did you do? How did you feel back then? How did you look? Because maybe you actually look very different from how you look today. Which is another thing that happens for us. Do you accept? Do you ac accept how you looked? Do you realize that how you looked and how you were, no matter how it was, <laughs> was just absolutely amazing? Is there something that needs to be forgiven, you know? I know we go deep. <laughs> it is coming very soon, whatever this is. Especially when it comes to work, when it com comes to career path, when it comes to opportunities. No matter what that is. I know these readings are long and I don't know why I'm like sorry about it. <laughs> Because I have, you know, I feel a lot of us are going through this, you know, instead of running away from it, being like, well, I can just be my own self and I can just sit here and stay here. And if I don't move, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, even the universe is like that old circle, right? Is there anything else that we need to know? Knight of Wands. Yeah. Take a chance. Take a risk. And open up if there's something you're scared of. <laughs> Speaking for all of us, I guess. Right? Oracle, I actually, maybe we should use the season of the witch. What are you afraid of will happen or not happen? Let me know in a comment what part of you you healed. Who was he, she? And why did he or she need healing? What happened? And how is he or she connected to who you are now? It's so interesting because the image that actually came up. And I don't know why, but I guess, <laughs> well, it was at a point in my life where like, I really felt overweight because weight is something I've been struggling with so much. And it first now that, you know, again, like I speak, you've spoken about, that I lose weight, but I'm still also at a point where I'm just learning to accept, you know, my body. <sighs> Loving my body. <laughs> and for everyone out there who has been dealing with weight, you know how tough that can be. Because it can really block us for a lot of things. But the image that came through was actually when... Oh, God, also with Kiri, because, you know, Kiri lost so much weight. Um, she looked so different back then. Um, but when me and Kiri and Kiri's sister went to something called Harris Lil's Gold Castle, where we got permission to, like, stay the night and film and all that stuff. That was so funny. But I remember when I was editing the footage, there were so many things that I cut out because I did not like myself at all. And I also think it was actually the first time where I like showed myself in in full figure. So <laughs> yeah, there's probably something I need to heal there. Running towards the past, Sandra being excited, being like, you did such a good job. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> so I hope that really <laughs> makes you think about, you know, also, also because there's many aspects of yourself that you're healing, many past things, 
where you might not have looked as you do today or maybe you were in a place where it was not so good or maybe you did something stupid uh, again maybe did something good I mean who knows right but truth of the matter is that whoever this person was back then it was still you right people still cared and loved you even if you might not have felt it and it's the same now <laughs> wow <laughs> okay <laughs> I could continue, but I can feel like I need to end this. <sighs> yeah. Hand fasting. Hand fasting. Is that what they did in Ireland or Scotland? I want to go to Scotland. And I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Ireland and have a good experience. <laughs> Okay, 17. The pull... The pulls... Pulls. Oh no. <laughs> Through all that I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing. I am risking. I am yearning for unity spilled lustrously upon my lips. Wow. What are you being prepared for? Hmm. And bad thing. Definitely. If I get married one day, it needs to be in a castle in Scotland. <laughs> it will be hand fasting. <laughs> I will have my castle marriage. <laughs> I'm in France. <laughs> okay. Unity. So there is unity here. I wonder if there is someone recently who came into your life. Also, again, unity can be many things, right? It can also be unity with your wish, your goals, allowing people to come into your life. <laughs> you do not have to do it alone. Sacred One, as help and support are available to you. There are people in your orbit <laughs> who wish to be a part of your sacred journey. <laughs> Don't we know it? It can feel as though you are taking a risk. What the hell? Trusting someone else with the most important parts of your life. This is true. But partnerships have the potential to transform into lifelong systems of support and joy. If you let them. That was so interesting. The camera stopped, but right before I felt like an older lady come <laughs> tiptoeing <laughs> closer huh very interesting i don't know who it is but it was like someone was putting a hand on on you know <laughs> thank you <laughs> i did hear someone say always have into the goodness always have into the goodness mm -hmm. <laughs> There was something else now. I, I have to, again, oh god, sometimes I have to really hold it when I hear it. But something about eyes open. Something with, yeah. Is it someone's grandmother, maybe? Because it is an older lady, so I do feel it's a grandmother. Mm -hmm. Pointing out something that is to be celebrated in the future. Something that needs to come together, like something that's bonded, which is actually interesting. I feel like someone is here to make the reading. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whatever this is, it's something that is like... Uh, like you have no control over it, but still it happened. But you also have to, again, take the steps into it. Oh, wow. I wonder if some of you guys received something from a grandmother, like, I don't know, a necklace or something. A, a little token, a very little token. Very little token. <laughs> mm hmm. I 
I feel like I'm like my, my hand is just laying still because I feel like there is someone. But it's interesting because I don't see anything. Normally there is an image connected to it. Oh yeah. Besides grey, short hair. Maybe glasses. I guess if I took more into it I could also see more. Someone pointed out whoever is here. Excuse me. Um pointed out the closed eyes. Something about eyes open. I don't know if it's like a poem or something. Having the eyes open. Looking to the horizon. <laughs> I don't know why I heard Piet. <laughs> it's very Danish to say Piet. <laughs> that is so interesting. What is happening here? Yeah. Okay. It's definitely someone who was very smiley. Leaving smiling. Leaving smiling. Oh, Here we got someone too today. My hand is ice cold. I wonder if there is something about hands or something. It's interesting because I feel whoever was here took away a fear. Because I don't feel that anymore. And I just had like a ringing in the ear. Ha! Huh. Something got taken away. That was so interesting. No? <laughs> wow. Whoever's grandmother that was. Well, thank you. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think there's anything else left to say. Also because this is a very long reading. I wonder if this is a reading that needs to actually go out at the moment. Maybe this is actually not a daily reading. Yeah. This is an urgent message. And for some reason I got actually asked to take another card. <laughs> what deck did I use? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Something happening is something is happening in your life that's very faded. And I feel that someone's grandmother actually has a lot to do with why something came came together or comes together in the future. Something about something about a celebration. But okay, so last card from whoever's grandmother this is. Something that needs to be celebrated. Something that will be celebrated. Something will be celebrated. Is someone having a sister that's celebrating something soon? Or do you have a sister that's like going through something tough? There needs to be a celebration, I heard. Okay, what is the last card? The moon. Something is being revealed. Pisces energy. Now I'm just going for it, because now we're here anyway, right? <laughs> okay. okay. We have the Two of Cups, which I feel came up in the reading for today. We have the Star, Aquarius. We have the Page of Cups. Hmm. That was a message from someone's grandmother, that is for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something is being revealed to you very soon. And it might be connected with a person. I will take it. Um yeah. Air sign, air sign, water sign, fire sign, we have it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
yeah, the crab is very afraid because the crab doesn't know, right? That is the moon card. Yeah, yeah. My mom was a Pisces and my brother is a Pisces, so I have been dealing with the Pisces energy. <laughs> and the Pisces energy also in the moon card is all about, well, it's all about in awareness. The psychic ability like the little i don't know is it a crab is it a crayfish um normally stands for the fearful self right and he it's not like he can see much from where he is so he actually really has to trust himself like asking himself can i do this there's no man or male you know can i get to it it's just you know for me the crayfish is that <laughs> male energy makes sense right <clears throat> yeah so yeah there's something that's not being revealed which is also why there is this energy of not being asked to take action for some reason maybe it will come soon i'm gonna try to ask again <clears throat> like something is standing in the way but why the challenge to the unknown and it does bring it to get with someone. If it's in career or if it's again love, a friendship maybe even. There could even be someone from the past popping up for some of you guys when it comes to healing. And then it's obviously for you to be like, okay, do I want to continue having something with this person um, from the past? Well, we did speak about healing right so when it comes to taking action here of having something revealed right could you give us a time because i know there is a time card there's many time cards here i did hear within the next weeks <laughs> in the near future yeah, near future in the near future and helpful people within the next month a year from now whoa okay <laughs> that's very uh ha <laughs> speak about it it's very, it's well, it makes sense because all of you guys are on different pathways, different journeys. Uh, for some of you guys, there's still something um, that needs to be healed, being let go of. Keep your mind open, I heard, when it comes to that. Um, it could actually also be something connected with the grandmother, like again, you might have a grandmother that's actually helping you right now. It could also be this, like, um, in the near future, this thing will, hap will happen. When we come to the next weeks, again, you go to the next step. And then after, next step when we come to the next month. And then within a year from now, you're actually realizing that you are in a complete different section of your life. Yeah. What are you choosing? You're choosing a new direction. But there might be something else is not the right time right now, today. Which is frustrating. It is. I get it. I don't want to bore you guys anymore because I know this is already long. But thank you guys once again for listening to me. So now I am going to record the daily reading for tomorrow. And put some heat on because it's actually very cold in here. The sun was shining, but... Okay, well, <laughs> I heard someone say something on Danish, actually. Uh, like, now I don't need to put the candle on. Because I actually was thinking about putting a calm candle on. Remember I spoke, spoke about that in the Ramble Spell video? I heard someone say that. You don't need to do that anymore. Someone has a very lovely grandmother on the other side who definitely took away something that needed to be taken away. <laughs> well, let's see. How much better am I to take action now? <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Toodles.